Weather Authority forecast. A duality in the weather pattern has formed across the basin. One part of the basin has been stormy. The other part has been very sunny. We're kind of in between right now in the tall city. This is a live look before sunrise and we're just before moon set. We see that moon being obstructed by some clouds off towards our south and west. Clear skies above. We're before, again, sunrise and before that moon set. That's why we're seeing that black and white coloration in the skies. We're under night vision. Satellite and radar showing clearer skies the farther north and east to go. But yesterday we saw quite a bit of thunderstorm activity, monsoonal thunderstorms in western areas of the basin that have since dissipated and kind of meandered a little bit off toward our north in New Mexico. Again, clear skies and rain-free conditions continuing in northeastern areas of the basin, especially in the heart of the Lone Star State as well. Now, those winds kind of converging at the surface, coming from the south and west in places like Marfa and Alpine, a little bit out of the south-southeast in places like Midland and Odessa. And when those winds are converging, combining with moisture, that's how we get thunderstorms. And that will form in western areas of the basin. Southerly winds from Lubbock to Amarillo also kind of bring in that moisture as well. A bit breezy with some of those stronger thunderstorms later in the day today. Again, in western areas of the basin. But pleasantly mild and pleasant for most areas of the basin to start despite some clouds. I'll generally be mostly sunny for your morning commute in the mid top percent. It's currently at 78. I think we'll hover right around that for the next couple of hours. Lower 90s, a bit breezier and drier by noon. High 90s, lower triple digits by the afternoon. Right around 101 this afternoon at 4 p.m. High temperature 102 today in the tall city. A little bit cooler, but still very warm and mostly sunny later this evening. 60s and 70s from Marfa to Alpine and also in the Guadalupe Pass Van Horn region. Upper 70s, low 80s in the heart of the basin right now. Heating up in the high 80s, lower 90s by 1, 2, 3 o'clock. In Marfa and Alpine, the Van Horn and Guadalupe Pass region, including Carlsbad, maybe a bit hotter in Carlsbad, but maybe starting to cool off in Carlsbad, especially in the Trans-Pecos because of thunderstorm activity, but where conditions will be mostly sunny, conditions will also be hot. Now, we've already reached 100 as many times as last year. It's August 1st, and with that 102 degree high temperature I'm forecasting, we'll likely be at 35 days of triple digit heat, not 34. 34 days last year, we had 47 days of triple digit heat. In Midland in 2020, we're on pace to break that this summer. So quite a bit of a hot summer, one of the hottest summers that we could be seeing in many areas of the basin. And that is something that will be continually seen in northeastern areas while monsoonal thunderstorms will form right around 2, 3, 4 o'clock in western areas, kind of dissipating, but leaving around clouds later this evening. Overnight, we'll have that full moon out, and I think we'll be able to see it in places like Midland and Odessa, not too bad. Low temperatures in the 80s, winds dying down from the south southeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour, 75 tomorrow morning. Then winds pick back up from the south southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Your Mighty Wash Car Wash seven day forecast showing that heat throughout the next several days. A little bit less hot on Thursday. Pretty hot tomorrow, but more clouds lowering temperatures a little bit on Thursday. Slight chance of storms on Friday, then hotter and drier air ensuing this weekend.